water's looking nice tonight. About three weeks here, and I've yet to hit the pool, <laughs> which is unusual for me, but it's been uh, cloudy and rainy, and then usually when the weather's nice in the morning, we go for a long walk. By the time I'm done that, I don't really feel like hitting the pool. I'm not one for being out in the sun, pool, and sun tanning and all that stuff, so it's usually morning or nighttime to hit the pool. But anyways, that's not, not what this video is about. This video is about parade that we got to see yesterday, Cecilia and I. <clears throat> now let me start off with a preface to this video. You watch this video, everybody's going to have their opinion on this subject, and uh, that's fine. I'm all about, you know, freedom of speech. But on my channel, I don't get into politics, and uh, I don't believe in hurting people for no reason. So, with that said, here's your chance to turn it off once you hear the subject without leaving a comment. Because if you leave a comment on this video with any hate or any negativity negativity about this subject, then I'm just going to go ahead and block you. I don't care how long you've been a subscriber. I love all our subscribers, man. But um, again, if you have an opinion on this that's in a negative way, then just keep it to yourself. Watch a little bit of the video. It's not for you. It's very easy to switch to another video or watch something else. But leave the comments and the hate off the out of the comment section so with that said this video is about what we seen yesterday was a love parade and what the love parade here in Bangkok is about is the end celebration the end of pride month which for most of you should know pride month is uh, gay lesbian I don't know all the acronyms these days trans um, community and so it's pretty cool event man if you're familiar with Bangkok you know how big Sukhumvit is and the pride went right down the middle of Sukhumvit. I think it started in the Siam area and went all the way down to Benjasiri Park and uh, there was tons of police supporting it, uh, stopping cars at intersections, letting the parade go through. It did come through in sections so it did take a little bit of time. It was like you know six or seven floats and then there'd be a light <laughs> and then there'd be like six or seven more floats. But anyways, uh, a big, it was a bigger celebration this year due to the fact that Thailand is about to become the first country in Southeast Asia to legalize same-sex marriage. And uh, <clears throat> they've already voted on it in their, I think it's Congress, I think they call it Congress, but I could be wrong, House of Parliament, whatever it is. It's like 134 and like four against. Don't quote me on that number, so you know, I, I read up on it a little yesterday uh, before we went to the parade. And uh, the only formality after that, once it passes that legislation, which it did, is it goes to the king. And from everything I read, the king will definitely sign this, um, this bill, this legislation, and same-sex marriage in Thailand will be legal. and It'll be the first in Southeast Asia. In Asia as a whole, there's only two other countries that same-sex marriage is legal and that's in Taiwan which you know get into a debate there because some people don't consider Taiwan a country and then uh, the other one is Nepal believe it or not so anyways just wanted to hit that I've always been in favor of people just being allowed to do what they want to do that's what freedom is all about in America um, now if you, you know like I said this ain't about politics I won't get into some of the stuff going on in the U.S. with uh, pronouns and stuff like that, that, that's a different subject to me. But just having uh, equal rights as far as loving who you want to love and being able to marry that person and spend the rest of your life with that person, I think that that is something that uh, all of us should agree that they should be allowed to do. So let's check out this parade. It was pretty cool. I thought it was pretty cool. A little over the top sometimes for me, but that's all right. It's their day. They're celebrating, and especially with this legislation, like I mentioned, it was a big day for them. So let's check out this parade. Again, this is not a normal video for, the, for our channel, but part of our channel is showing culture and things around Asia, and this is part of it. This is part of Thailand, so enjoy the video.
you're wondering, this is the end of Pride Month. This is the Love Parade. Just checking it out.
All right, we just got done watching the uh, Love Parade, Pride Parade here in Bangkok, largest one in Asia, according to the website. And uh, we're here at Salad Factory. And I've uh, been here before, shown it before in a video, man. Got to get some delicious, healthy food, straight of food here to close out this video. All right, I won't forget any of the dishes this time up tonight. This is a rocket salad with mixed mushrooms and a balsamic. Mrs. Mrs. C ain't gonna give it the pour. Come on. Food porn. Oh, look at that. Whoa, yeah. Balsamic. Ooh. Little healthy pineapple ginger. All right, next dish has arrived. Miss Cecilia's clam chowder. I'll give it a taste. See if it see if it mirrors New England. It looks a little uh, darker. There's probably some curry or something in there. Good. All right, last two dishes have arrived. We got a chicken basket. Just get some fried chicken and fries, and then this guy right here, salt and chili. Sometimes in Chinese, salt and pepper, tofu. That looks good. Other than this, everything else is pretty healthy. <laughs> All right, dinner done. Salad factory. Total price, six hundred seventy-nine baht. Put a conversion there. Like a little over 18 bucks. Salad Factory, Bangkok. Delicious. Mm -hmm.